French presidential election candidate Emmanuel Macron has received a lot of support from across the political spectrum ahead of next week's runoff election. But could he be taking his victory for granted? You have already won. She made that mistake, but I won't. Hillary Clinton holding steady. Hillary Clinton up four points. Next, Saudi Arabia has been elected to the UN Women's Rights Council. It's a decision that's being widely criticized because of the restrictions which women live under in the Middle Eastern country. Belgium's admitted being one of the nations that voted in favor of the move, but its prime ministers since apologized, blaming it on a diplomatic mix-up. If we could do it again, and if we would have the chance to discuss it at government level, I of course would have argued that we not approve this. I regret the vote. I declare elected from the Asia-Pacific states, Iraq, Republic of Korea, Japan, Turkmenistan, Saudi Arabia. probably saw there that Britain's a major arms supplier to Saudi Arabia, but it refuses to say how it voted in the UN. Britain's weapons sales have come under scrutiny due to the Saudis' role in Yemen's ongoing civil war. Today's edition of Going Underground tackles a former vice chairman of the ruling Conservative Party over whether London should still be selling arms to Riyadh. Is it legal that Theresa May has been exporting arms to Saudi Arabia to uh, kill civilians in Yemen? Well, that is a matter that is currently the subject of judicial review in Britain. Uh, I am not in favour of an arms embargo against uh, the Saudi Arabian regime because I believe the Saudis will get the weapons anyway, and if we sell them the weapons, then we have more influence uh, over them. It's a, it's a difficult issue, but equally the cluster bombs... So you'd export uh, weapons to President Assad of Syria, then, because you'd have no, more... No, I, I, I'm saying that... Uh, uh, there is a clear difference which we can get into if you wish, but the point I'm making is that the Saudis will get the weapons anyway. Well, I'm, I'm not attacking the Saudis. I am trying to stop them. And so what I am seeking to do is to try and ensure that there is a ceasefire. I believe that all the parties would expect British mediation uh, through the UN under that ceasefire to get an end of the fighting, which I think is strongly in the interests of Saudi Arabia and of Yemen. <laughs> One of the fast-track prisoner executions in a U.S. state is being described as horrifying, as RT reports in a couple of minutes.